Hello everyone, welcome back to my Code to Care video series. And I'm gonna do a two-part education um, uh, video uh, about uh, open source versus proprietary models. So LLMs come in these different flavors. You probably heard of open source models. So I wanted to describe better uh, what those are and how they compare with open source uh, models. So um, let me just do this quick diagram. So let's say you have your environment. Uh, and where your application is running. And this might be on-prem or it might be your cloud tenant, not somebody else's. And you have your application here. So proprietary models like you get from uh, OpenAI is a, a famous one, but from, uh, from Azure, Google, that sort of thing, they all have these proprietary models. Uh, they run somewhere else. Um, and they run in their cloud environment, generally speaking. Uh, and this is a proprietary LLM. Okay, so your application here is calling that LLM to get some work done and getting a response. So we do a lot of work, for instance, with uh, OpenAI's models. Um, and, uh, and this is the way it works. We have our app running in our customer's environment or our own environment, depending our customer's tenant, and it calls out to OpenAI or Azure's hosted OpenAI, and, and you get a response uh, back. So these proprietary models generally work that way. They're super large. They take a lot of computers to uh, operate, and, um, and they, they want to be proprietary, so they don't want to necessarily share the structure of the model or the weights or those sorts of things. They view it as their secret sauce, so it's treated as a black uh, black box, uh, generally speaking, so they can kind of protect uh, protect that. Now, an open source model, uh, at least the most open ones, is one that you can install right here. You can download it, um, and you can uh, you can put it right here. So, open source LLM. So you can put it in your on prem environment. You can put it in your cloud tenant, and your application can use it uh, locally. Uh, so that's the difference. Uh, and so the major differences, I would say, let me do this over here, are one is that you can download these models yourself. So you can download the code, you can inspect the weights, you can put it in your environment, that, that uh, kind of thing. You can fine tune it. So some of these um, proprietary models you can't fine tune, you just have to use the model uh, as it is. You have more data control. So in this case, your data is going out to their black box, let's say, uh, and you'll have license terms um, about what they can do with your data, which you may or may not like. Um, but also there's a trust factor. Your data is kind of leaving the building. Uh, in this case, your data kind of stays within your environment, and that might be um, you know, a better, more comfortable situation uh, for you. Even though I say you can download it and run it locally, some of these models need very large servers, a GPU, you know, a bunch of GPUs sort of all, all, um, all connected together to run the models, even for inference, not even, uh, not even training. So uh, I'm making it sound easy, but it's not necessarily easy, depending on the size of these open source models, for you to run it in your environment. So sometimes you might have an on-prem system and you might use a cloud tenant, your cloud tenant, to host one of these big open source models where you can get a bunch of GPUs and you can get reasonable performance. But, um, but it's still within your environment. It just is not often uh, easy to run depending on the size of the model. And the last thing I would say is the open source models are not as good. And by good, I just mean the quality of the output. Uh, the quality of the tax or the quality of whatever the model uh, is doing. And I'll show you in the next video what I mean by that and how these open source models rank versus the proprietary uh, models. But generally speaking, they're not as good. They're behind the proprietary uh, models. So that might be perfectly okay for your use case, or it, it might be a problem and you might need to use a proprietary model to get the performance and accuracy that you want. So I hope that was uh, educational and clear. Um, like I said, in my next video, I'll, I'll show you how open source and closed source models 
um, uh, ranks so you can get a better better sense for the difference. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks, everyone. And until next time, bye.